Welcome to my Muscadine Vineyard. I wanna share with you guys really quick who are in farming and homesteading. Um, something that's worked really well for us for the last uh, nine years that we've been doing this. We planted a small Muscadine Vineyard. And we actually planted two, but this one's my favorite one because it's close to the house. What's really cool about it is in between the aisles, we put raised beds. So here in the early spring, when the vines are not so big and bushy, I can grow greens and other spring crops, you know, peas, whatever. And then as the vines begin to get big and bushy like they are now, um, I let the beds grow up with weeds or grass or whatever after the spring harvest. And then I let my donkeys in. And they help keep it trimmed. My husband has to help with that a little bit too because the donkeys don't eat every weed that we have here in East Tennessee. And this system has worked really well uh, for our little vineyard. I'm extremely productive. The last harvest will be toward the end of September probably. And then if I want to, I can still plant some more greens for the fall and for the late fall season. And through the summer, my donkeys help keep it trimmed and they don't bother the vines. Uh, in the spring, when I've got greens in here and the new, the new growth is coming out on the vines, they will eat new growth. But once the growth is a couple months old, they won't touch it. So then I can um, let them in here to trim back the weeds in between the aisles and the raised beds. So this has been a great little system that I have produced a ton of food in. So anyway, that is um, a little bit of my farm life here with donkeys in the Southeast. And I hope it gives you some ideas for your own farm and how you can put these donkeys to work as well as grow a lot of food.